Hi, kamusta? Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be all about Filipino Hoyas. If you're familiar with Jillian underscore plant underscore corner or Joanne, she did this um, whole hashtag thing about hashtag Hoya Filipina. And when I started collecting Hoyas in the beginning, I was not really paying attention to where they came from. I was just like, you know, I like how it looks, I like the leaves, so I'm just gonna get it. But now, um, if you guys don't know, I'm Filipino. <laughs> just in case that's new to you, I'm Filipino. I do speak fluent Tagalog and I grew up in the Philippines. I lived there for almost 18 years and then I moved to the US because um, my mom got married. And then it just so happens that the guy he married um, was also where my future husband would be for some reason. But yeah, she got married there and then I met the same guy I met back in high school, back in the Philippines, in the same city. It's crazy, but let's get started with the box. I ordered two boxes, one from Amanda Law or Plenty Mandy, if, if you're familiar with her. She's also on YouTube. I also got another one from Jeriza. She has an Etsy shop. I'll, I'll link everything down below, but let's get started. So the first one I have is from Amanda. But yeah, like I said, the theme for today is all about Filipino Hoyas. I got I got these ones because I'm kind of behind on the collecting game. Um, but I figured I'm from the Philippines. I want to collect uh, Hoyas from the Philippines too. And I'm slowly realizing they are awesome. So, okay. So the box. Open the box and it has a note. It says, hey Janelle, thank you for your order. Please feel free to let me know if you... If you have if you have any questions, enjoy Amanda. Thank you so much, Amanda. I did a plant trade with her a long time well not a long time ago. Uh a month or so ago and it went great. And this is actually my first time, is it? Yep, it's definitely my, <laughs> this is actually my first time buying from her. So the first one was a trade and this is my very first buy from her. So I'm very excited. So it came like this, and it has a cute little wrapping paper, and it has a, a thank you sticker. Why are you thanking me? I should be thanking you. Okay. So it came like this, and it has a lot of shredded paper on it. And she normally posts at Facebook stores. If you want to get some Hoyas from her or you can just DM her too or DM or message her on Facebook if you're friends with her but she's really sweet like she's really nice I love her and there's a lot of things I learned from her YouTube as well um, in regards to propagation ear layering there's just so much and she's just a really nice person overall um, so this is the one I bought. I didn't win it from a purge or anything. I bought this from her. And this one is called Hoya Loheri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But I believe this is like in Laguna or something, Rizal. But look at the leaves. The leaves are like succulent-like. Kind of hardy. It's it's not like a Wayeri eye. No. I don't know on the top of my mind right now which one it resembles with, but it's very beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's like rooting crazy too, so it's pretty good. And I like these cute little cups. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. What do It's a plant. Plant? And then this one is another one I got. I got a cutting from her. It's called Hoya Ila Ila Jir, Jir, I can't pronounce it. I'll put the name down below. Ila, Ila Jirum something. But it 
it kind of feels or looks like uh, this CRA, CRI. But very pretty. I got this as a cutting from her. And her actual, um, her cutting from last time actually ruined it. I got a Dr. Evoke from her. More. And the cutting last time root pretty well, but these are the two I got from her. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate them and they're beautiful. I, I can't wait for them to grow bigger and then show you. But yeah, that's what I have from her box and then we're gonna go to the next box from Jerry. Okay, so next one we have is from a recent friend that I made. Her name's Jerizza. He has an Etsy shop and I'm gonna put down the link below. I think this is one of the biggest, I think it's bigger than Thailand or maybe the same size, but it's huge. And she did free shipping. Wow, it's like taped really well. It's not those, uh, let's try them. Yeah. Okay, there we go. This is like, this is like a like, buy-in box. Oh, also I forgot to show you guys, but she did put a bunch of notes in it, like fragile and um, keep out of direct sun, heat or direct sun. Thank you. I think those little things are what um, matters to me the most, like these little details. But yeah, she, she taped this really well. <laughs> Plus I couldn't find my other scissors, so I'm using this one and it seems pretty dull so okay i've i finally opened it came with this really beautiful thank you note and i really appreciate this so much thank you so it has this so it has this paper and then um some bubble wrap and then it has a bunch of shredded paper in there too Oh my gosh, I love her packaging. Oh! She got me gifts. So it's a David Kuminki and SP Bogor Cuttings. Thank you so much, Teresa. Okay, let's start off with the free cuttings first. How about that? Okay, so inside is more um, of that show the paper thing. And oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is the SP Bogor. Is it Bogor or Bogar? I'm gonna ask her. Maybe those are two different things, but it's. I love the leaves. But yeah, these leaves are so nice. It is a tad dehydrated, but even, even, even this part she taped really well. Uh, I hope I don't break it. But I'll unravel this later, I guess. But it's not just... I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not just one cutting. It's like one, two, three. There's like three in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll unravel it later. It's so pretty. And then here's the David Kumingi one. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I also got this information from hoya-obsessions.com that I'll put a link down below. Okay, next one. Really good in packaging. I think it's between her and Hoya How that so far is the best for me. Is that sphagnum moss? It is. That's a lot of sphagnum moss. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. 
Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love the leaves. Thank you so much. But yeah, again, this one is the Hoya Blue Sun. And it's wrapped so well. And I think it's still moist in there, so I gotta get this out. This one actually got way faster than um, Amanda's. They were both shipped on Monday, and they got hers on Wednesday, and then Amanda was, um, Amanda was like Friday or Saturday or something. This is so beautiful. Okay, so Jerisa, actually I was already following her on her Etsy um, for the longest time. I just never got lucky enough to um, get anything. Whenever she restocks, it's always like, or whenever she posts like a new listing, it's always sold out so fast. So I never get lucky. And But shout out to um, Lesia. I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing your name right. I always mess it up. Shout out to Lesia for like, she was the one that introduced this Hoya to me and I got it added to my wish list for the hashtag Hoyang Filipina and oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Like I've seen pictures, but you, you, you have to touch it in person to understand where I'm coming from when I say it's beautiful. That's, that's what I love the most about Hoyas is that they're all so different. Like, you know how some plant species are all kind of like at least similar looking? Hoyas are like all different. Like, look at that. They're all different, all different shapes, all different sizes, different texture. Like, there's just, it's just crazy. But yeah, this one is the Hoya Cagayan. Cagayanensis, which is from um, Cagayan de Oro. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'll touch, I'll touch it a bit more later. Yeah, okay, going on the side. And then last but not least, I'm not really super familiar with the province. I'm not sure if there's a Bulusan or is this from Bulacan? So I have to look it up. I'll, I'll put down below um, where it's from and where it got its name from. But most of these names were like from the rural part of the Philippines. Like I said, I grew up in the city, so. There's so much paper. Oh my gosh, this one is so beautiful as well. Okay, so the third one I got No, there's paper everywhere. This third one is called Hoya Cebu, which obviously means it's from Cebu. But it's CV Cebu. I'm gonna look up what that CV means. Oh, I love the texture too. Oh my, is it fussy? Okay, this one leaf. Oh, it does have hair. Yeah, it does have hair. I didn't even know it was fuzzy. Like I got this and thinking, assuming, because I, I just based it off pictures, I assumed that it was kind of waxy or something, but oh my gosh, no. Yes, this is perfect. Which one's hairier? No, this one's more velvety. This one's like furry. But I love it so much. Well, the packaging was amazing. Um, maybe I shouldn't put this all the way in the middle. But the packaging was so amazing. I'm missing a cutting. Oh. Okay, I found it got stuck in one of the wrapping paper <laughs> but yeah the wrapping is a bit crazy um in regards to unraveling it but overall i think um 
I think it's it is really good packaging. You guys should check out her Etsy store. She posts every now and then and she's really friendly. You can message her. That's how I got in touch with her in the first place. I was like saying that I wasn't I'm not able to like get some of her Hoyas on the Etsy store, so that's why I asked. Um but yeah, she's really friendly. Check her out, message her. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a close up in a little bit. But thank you so much, Teresa, for all this and also for my freebies. All right, this is everything I got from. This is the David Kumingi. Kumingai. Has dark margins. Very pretty. This is the Bogor. A little bit dehydrated, but look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. Here is my Kagayanensis. Oh my gosh. I am telling you, you have got to get yourself one of these. Like it's just it's just so beautiful. Like look at that. Very pretty. But yeah, everything is in like oh this one's in dirt. The other ones are in sphagnum moss, like this one. Um, this is the Hoya Bulusan. A bit hardy. Kind of reminds me of the Ela Ela Georum. Very, very pretty too. And then last but not least, the fuzzy Hoya Cebu. It's not as fuzzy as Tomsonii, but it is very cool no matter what. I don't know if I can, do you guys see the hair? But it's amazing. Thank you so much for everything. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching me unbox my new Hoyas. If you like this video, please click that like button and you can follow me on my Instagram, loka underscore four underscore Hoya. And please subscribe if you want to see more from me. Salamat! Ingat! Bye!